I'm Hollywood KP, representing No Rare Lights tonight at the All Deaf Movie Awards, the first annual thrown together by the legend himself, Mr. Russell Simmons, and All Deaf Digital. It's going to be a good one tonight, y'all. We're looking forward to seeing Mr. Will Smith, who's getting honored. Who's going to take home the prize of the evening? Uh, best movie of the year. I'm going for dope. I don't know who we're going to get. Stay tuned. Let's check it out see what happens. Right, I know. He just like me. I don't fuck with you. Nigga, you didn't put on a little butt down and thank you somebody, nigga. <laughs> How y'all doing? Hollywood KP here with the Jasmine Brand and Miss Erica Minna. How you doing this evening? I'm doing great. Well, you look amazing. Thank you. But well, you always look amazing. I try. <laughs> she doesn't try too hard, try. folks. Okay, so you're presenting tonight. No. You're not presenting? No. Or are you just here visiting? I haven't been out. So I'm like, this is the perfect time to put on a banging gown mm -hmm. and just show out real quick. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And I'm single, so it's even more fun. Don't be saying that. Don't be spreading that out to, you know, all these wolves out It's so much more fun being single. Trust me. I know you're single. You know what I'm talking about. I am single. You know she does you know. know. I can feel it. <laughs> so what are you looking forward to this evening? What are you looking forward to seeing? Um, you know what? I think the whole uh, basis of tonight is what makes everything so exciting. Um, you know, when it comes to the urban and, and the culture and the people behind it, I feel like we need more stuff like this. Um, this gives us an opportunity to come together for all of us in the business and we get to join forces and represent for what it is that we love to do. So I think just in that aspect alone, I think it's adamant we kind of do stuff like this and it's adamant we attend stuff like this and look around there's like so many great people that make up what it is that I've been able to do you're able to do so it's you know we need stuff like this definitely definitely who do you have going tonight for best movie top award who are you going for what movie uh, let's do straight out Compton duh that's been the that's been the fan favorite today it that's been the to choice be. you know what it is I think the story has always been needed to be told, that makes sense. And the fact that it finally has been told and the way it was told and the authenticity of the film and the characters, everything that came together just made it so epic and, and that's what we need to celebrate. I mean, we don't really get that many opportunities, so, you know, to tell our story. And then when we do and it hits the big screen, Ooh. how can you not acknowledge that? So there you, you got go. Upset all of a sudden. I did. I know, it was dumb. Okay, let me get my. Yeah, okay, we back. We back. We back normal. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. you have enjoyed the night. Hollywood KP here with the Jazz and Brandon, Mr. Michael Ely tonight. How you doing tonight, sir? I'm good, brother. How you doing? You know what? Can't complain. I appreciate you for asking. So you're nominated right now for Mr. Steal Your Girl. What did you do? What happened in order for that nomination to occur? Because it didn't just get occur for not no reason. I, I, I genuinely don't know. I'm hoping that someone from ADD will tell me how I got nominated. Um, but it's a it's a tough nominating class right now. I'm I'm pretty. I got a lot of competition. A lot of competition. So we'll see. You. I'm, I mean, there's. You know, but I feel like for years though, you have been that guy. But I don't know what you did. You can't, you can't take things for granted. You know what I mean? You can't take anything for granted. Um, I've got a pretty good track record with stealing women. No, I, I, know, um, I knew so, it. I knew it. <laughs> so, you know, we'll see what happens tonight. Definitely, definitely. So, I know, um, who are you going for for uh, best movie of the year? What you going for? It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, somewhere, uh, probably between Beast of No Nation and Straight Outta Compton. That's the first time we've heard Beast. Okay. That's the first time. I agree. I agree. My last question for you. Michael B. Johnson as Cree. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan, I'm sorry. Michael B. Jordan as Cree enters the ring with you. Who wins? Like while he was in Creed shape? Yeah. He was in Creed shape. Yeah, Creed shape. Yes. If you can look at you I, I think he would win, but by like, like uh, 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 I would I would probably be disqualified because we get in a tussle and I, I, I bite his ear or something. That biting ear thing that would never go away. That's the best way. I'd have to bite his ear if we got into a tussle, especially if I was losing. I couldn't lose to him, so I'd have to tussle it out. I hear you. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. But if he was in Creed shape. That's a tough one right there. It is a tough one. We can't, we're not ready for that yet. Yeah. All right, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the night. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? I'm good. I'm good.
Hollywood KP with the Jasmine Brown here, Mr. Star himself. You know what? She in there already. She beat you. Oh, real quick. Real, I know it. I know it. Real quick, sorry. We spoke with Russell Simmons. He said you were uh, the reasoning and one of the influential parts into creating uh, this form that we're here today. How do you feel about that? It's amazing. I was just walking out of a comedy club and TMZ ran up on me and I just told him how I felt. And uh, the dialogue started from there and the, you know, the wheels started rolling and we're in motion now with everything that we you know, dreamed of and it's all coming to fruition. It's amazing to see and it's amazing that Russell can make this thing happen with just a few phone calls and you know, some emails sent out. Definitely. Thank you so much, Mr. Bob. Appreciate it, man. All right. How y'all doing? It's Hollywood KP. I'm here with the Jazz and Brand and the Invincible, the legend, Mr. Robert Townsend. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing excellent tonight. I'm doing excellent. Oh, great, great. So, first annual uh, All Deaf Digital Movie Awards. How influential is this to uh, not only ourselves, but the industry as well? Uh, this is so needed because it's acknowledging voices that might not be acknowledged. And so I really have to applaud Russell Simmons because he's taking action. Sometimes we can complain and say, hey, there's no diversity, there's no this, that. He's a man of action. He's doing something about it. So tonight, we're honoring excellence in cinema. I mean, when I think in terms of Ryan Coogler, when I think of Ava DuVernay, F. Gary Gray, they made some amazing movies. So I, I think this celebration is so needed. You yourself were one of the first voices uh, for film when it comes to putting things in that perspective. What else do you think from here on needs to be done uh, moving forward? I, I think it's just a matter of continuing to create movies and television shows, but creating movies and, and getting uh, the right marketing team to support those films and getting the, on the studio level that support to say these films are worthy of Oscars, these films are worthy of wider distribution. So I think stuff like this is important because it starts a really beautiful conversation and that's what we need right now, a conversation that will turn into action. Who do you have for best movie of the year? I'm gonna have to go straight out of Compton. Yeah. Straight out of Compton. Because I feel like biopics can go so wrong that when they're done right, it's a big deal. <laughs> I'll put it like that. Alright. Well, thank you so much, sir. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> How y'all doing? It's Hollywood KP. I'm here with the Jazz and Brandon. Miss Monique Slaughter. How you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I feel like I'm impeding on this interview over here. You are not impeding. You are standing next to uh, the nominee for Mr. Steel, your girl. That's I know who, I, who it is. And it was your teacher. Child. You're going to get an interview set up for that, y'all two, personally kind of thing. We're going to work on that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So how you doing tonight? What you looking forward to for this event? I'm looking forward to kind of understanding it a little bit more. I mean, I know why we're here, but um, the categories, the different, sorry, I felt like I had a booger. The categories <laughs> um, and I just want to see all the people. I'm really just here to support my peers, and um, I think it's awesome. So, I'm sure you probably saw all the movies nominated for Best Movies. What are the nominations? Well, lately everybody's been going with uh, NWA. It's, it's I like Creed, that movie. NWA, I didn't Dope. See Creed. I didn't see Dope. You didn't see Dope? She didn't see Dope. Oh, wow. I didn't see Creed, but I saw the NWA movie. Did you see Chirac? I did not see Chirac. Did you see but Beast of my exes in NWA? <laughs> both of her, both of her exes in NWA, so she got to vote for that. Okay. Yes, I do. I actually just got one of um, their initials covered up on season two. Mm. Mm. Well, we know what it is now, ladies and gentlemen. Right, right. Won't he do it? Well, thank you so much for coming on, Bob. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right, me. have a great evening. You too. Pleasure.